Hi, in this video, we're going to be showing you the new ClipChamp AI text-to-speech generator. Not sure why they call it AI, because it's not really AI. It's just more of a general text-to-speech creator that you could use for your videos. Okay, so I have this uh, biking video here. A couple of clips that I loaded, put them together. No sound on them. So I want to add some audio, and I want to do a little voiceover for it. So I'm going to go to Record and Create. And then look for text to speech. Click on that. And now you have some choices here. Uh, pick your language. It should pick your default language for you. Then you have some voices that you could go through. Multilingual. You have some AI generated voices. And then you could sample them. Choose from a variety of voices to help you create a story worth sharing. And here's the second one for AI generated. Choose from a variety of voices to help you create. Then you have some of just the default ones. Choose from a variety of voices to help you create a story worth sharing. And then you have some advanced settings here. So for emotion, it's been grayed out for me, no matter what voice I pick. So I'm not sure why that is. So you might have different results, uh, but you could change the pitch. So let's say we want to go extra low. Choose from a variety of voices to help you create a story. And you can change the pace if you want to speed it up or slow it down. Choose from a variety of voices to help you create a story worth sharing. You know, then you could kind of go in between if you want as well. So once you pick your voice, you could go down to the text area here, close this up, and then put in the text that you want. So you have a 10 minute uh, limit, but let's say you go over 10 minutes, you might be able to just speed it up to kind of shrink it down there to get you into that 10 minute limit there. But I can't imagine you're going to have 10 minutes of text. Or you could just create another one if you want as well. So let me add some text here. Okay, then you could preview it. We went for a nice bike ride on the beach today. The weather was great, and so was the sand. We had to really... Okay, so once you click on Save, it'll actually add it to your timeline with the text. Okay, then of course you could drag it around wherever you want. So let's see what it looks like with the text here. We went for a nice bike ride on the beach today. The weather was great, and so was the sand. And of course, you know, you could reposition it if you want to have a little bit of the clip starting first. We went for a nice bike ride on the beach today. And then you have, you know, some options when you click on it. If you right-click on it, you could duplicate it, copy, paste, delete, split it. Uh, you have more options here. You know, volume, some fade in and fade out, and some other speed options there as well. And then once you have it in there, you just treat it like any other kind of audio clip that you add to your video. You know, when you export, it'll be built into it. But I notice the volume tends to be a little loud, so you might need to turn that down uh, before you export it. All right, so once again, just open your video project or start a new one. Go to Record and Create, Text-to-Speech. Pick your language, pick your voice, change your settings, type in your text, and once you click on save, it'll add it to your bar here. You can see it started a new one here because I clicked on it again. Then, of course, you know, you could just build on them and just add multiple uh, text-to-speech clips as needed. And then, of course, you could turn on the captions for the text-to-speech, too. We went for a nice bike ride on the beach today. The weather was great, and so was the sand. We had to... So that's kind of nice as well. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.